Dear all, let us see a lexical analyzer and its working and the tool used in lexical analyzers and how to write a lexical analyzers program. So lexical analyzer is a first phase of a compiler and the work of the lexical analyzer is just to generate a token. So parser will send a get next token to get a stream of tokens from a lexical analyzer. So this is what the working phase of the lexical analyzer that we have already seen in a theoretical basis. And now let us see how to construct a lexical tool which is nothing but as a lexical compiler. So the source program will have the extension .l and when you compile, when you use a flex, it will generate you lex.yy.c which will you compile using an ordinary C compiler and you will get an executions where you can give you an input stream and you can check the sequence of tokens will get generated using a flex program. So this is the structure of a flex program. The first part would be the definition sections. It will consist of declaration of variables, regular definitions and manifest constraints. The text is enclosed with this symbol exclamatory and open curly brace and then exclamatory and then close curly brace and the second sections would be the rule sections here we will be writing a pattern which is nothing but using a regular expressions and what actions you have to perform with that regular expressions enclosed with this syntax so these are all some of the patterns and next part would be the user code sections. So this section contains a C statements and an additional functions. We can also compile these functions separately and load with a lexical analyzer. And this is the overall structure of a lex program. The first will be declaring the declarations and then translation rules and then you will be writing the code. So how to run the program? You have to use the lex compiler command like lex file name dot l or lex file name dot lex or else flex f l e x file name dot l and then you will be compiling using a ordinary c compiler even you can use a c plus plus compiler to compile a program and then you will be executing that with a dot slash a dot out and the input to program is being provided so the installation of a lex in a linux you will be using the command sudo app get update for installing it will ask for your password please type the password for your linux account and hit the enter next you will be installing the flex tool using a sudo apt get install flex in a windows you have to download code blocks software and flex gnu32 to run a flex program now let me show you how to run a flex tool in the windows so before that Hello all, hope you have watched my first video of flexical modules and how to write a flexical program and what is the compilation of a flexical. Here let us see working of flex and window. So this is what the first lex program I have written. Here the purpose of the lex program is to count a number of capital letters. So I have used as in the case of simple C program. Here also I am using a variable. The same thing I will be declaring the variable as a C syntax. And then here comes the important rule sections. The rule sections here you will be writing out the patterns and what actions you have to perform for that pattern should be written here. So here I am just identifying the capital letter A to Z characters alone and hence I am using these patterns. And if I would like to use the small letters then I can use A to Z as small letters. And the character for example. So the character A to Z and A to Z are alone get counter. So all the input string whichever you are giving that would be stored in an input buffering. So each character you have to take from the input buffering using an YY text. And next comes the code sections. So code sections you will be using a YY wrap which is nothing but wrapping this rule sections. You have to use this functions. And afterwards inside the main functions you will be writing a YY lex which is executing the rule sections of a lexical program. So let us compile this program. So for compilations, I've said that you have to use a flex command and then first dot l. And afterwards, you have to compile using a C compiler also. You can do and C++ also you can do. Here I'm using a, using a simple C compiler. 
the output of the flex compiler would be lex.yy.c and afterwards I am executing this. Since it is a Windows command prompt, I am using a.exe for executing. Uh, let us say hello, one, two, three, welcome. So the purpose of the lexical analyzers here I have written is to identify only the character. So here you see H is a capital letter and hello, one, two, three is a capital letter. So I am not saved this I think. So first let me save this. So afterwards I will using a flex and then I am compiling this and then I am executing this. So let us say hello, one, two, three, welcome. You just see all the characters here at the rule sections I have given only the characters. So all the characters alone is get tracked here. And 1, 2, 3 I have not identified anything. So 1, 2, 3 is not been given. And all the characters alone is get displayed. And I am counting out. So this is a program. And the second program I have written here. The second program I have written here is a, just to identify the expression. Hello all. In this session we are just going to track out the expressions using the lexical tool. So here, so this program is to just to identify an expressions. In an expressions, how the identifiers will be placed and what will be the digit and the, what will be the numbers. Everything will be writing here and will be tracking out the expressions. So as usual in the definition sections you will be including include stdio.h as I said this statement will get updated in lex.yy.c which again will compile using a C compiler. And in the, the definition sections you can also write the regular definitions. Here I will return a regular definitions for a letter. So letter is nothing but A to Z and small letter A to Z are considered as a letter. And digit I have written like 0 to 9 are all considered as a digit. And how would you say an identifier? A letter followed by 0 or more number of letters or a digits are considered as an identifier. And number is nothing but 1 or more number of digits are said to be a number. So these are all the regular definitions for my expressions case. And here I have written a rule section. So under the rule sections, whenever you see an identifier, so identifier here I have written the uh, rules for an identifier hence I have used that identifier inside the open and close curly brace which is uh, this is printing out of identifier and number I have already declared here so hence I am using this syntax open and close curly brace and I am writing out the regular definition of number whenever you see a number you have to display this number is equal to so equal to are all the operators which I have not declared anywhere. So here I am just, these are all the tokens, right? Or, so equal is a token, plus is an operator token and star is also an operator token. So and hence for defining all the operators, I am using double quotes is equal to plus and star. And then as I have said, yy wrap is used for wrapping out this rule section. And for running out the tool sections, you have to use an yy legs. Let us compile and see how it is working out. So the first thing what you have to do is you have to use a flex command to compile your lexical program. And then you have to use the C compiler. Let's drop yy.c. And then I am using a executable. Now let me give you a letter followed by a digit is equal to operator and letter followed by any number of letter plus a letter followed by any number of digit star 1, 2, 3 which is nothing but a number. So this is what the A1 is an identifier, is equal to is an equal operator, here it is considered as an identifier and plus is an additional the cat 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3 a letter followed by any number of letter or digit you have taken that as an identifier and hence it is given as identifier and multiplication operator 
and then 1, 2, 3 is taken as a number. And I'll